All right, so today I have another example of RBF and Child Pays for Parent. I posted this question on Twitter earlier this morning, um, asking, you know, what would happen in a few different steps here, right? So let's walk through these steps real quick. Um, the starting state is the evil RBFer has a one million, or sorry, a ten million sat UTXO. Alice has two one million sat UTXOs, and Bob has nothing. The first transaction is the evil RBFer sends Alice two million sats, and that transaction is waiting in the mempool because you know the fee was was set at a low rate. Then Alice pays Bob. 500,000 sats and consolidates all of her UTXOs together in the same transaction, okay? This transaction uses child pays for parent because she's spending um, one of her UTXOs that is still unconfirmed, okay? And in the mempool now, there is a 3.5 million sat UTXO for Alice and a 500,000 sat UTXO for Bob, okay? And then the final transaction is the evil RBF for RBFs, um, all of the sats that, you know, he had originally uh, sent Alice, as well as, you know, the ones that he had left over from himself. He sends those back in a payment back to himself to get the, the full balance back. So the 10 million sat as a single UTXO. And then the question is, how many sats does Alice have at this point? And how many sats does Bob have? And then the bonus question was, how many UTXOs does Alice have and how many UTXOs does Bob have? Okay. So let's actually uh, do this in real life on testnet to see what the answer is. So I always like starting um, off by looking at mempool.space. And right now we're looking at testnet in mempool.space. Okay. Um, but right now there's a bit of a backlog in testnet and it looks like to get into the next block, uh, you would need a fee rate around 11 sats per vbyte. Um, you know, there's there's quite a few blocks currently filled with transactions willing to pay, you know, about 10 sats per vbyte. So in order to skip in line, you would need to pay a higher fee rate, okay? So with that in mind, let's go over to Sparrow and let's take a look at our different accounts we have set up here, our different wallets. So first we have the evil RBFer, and they have their 10 million sat UTXO. We have Alice and they have two 1 million sat UTXOs. And then Bob has nothing, right? No transactions and no UTXOs. All right, so let's start by sending Alice the 2 million sat payment. So we'll click on send and uh, oh, it looks like I already have it set up. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what you would do here is you would you would go to Alice, right? So that's Alice's next address. I give this a label, Alice, and um, I put in 2 million sats, okay? And then for the free rate, I set it fairly low so that it wouldn't get confirmed anytime soon. And um, this is the total fee that will be paid. So we'll go ahead and create that transaction, finalize for signing, sign, and broadcast. All right, so that just got broadcasted. If we want to see that in mempool.space, we can click that button. And you see that it's waiting all the way in the back of the line, OK? All right, so going back to Sparrow, now if we go over to Alice and we look at her UTXOs, we see that um, she now has three UTXOs, OK? So she has the two. 1 million sat UTXOs uh, that she originally had, and she has a brand new 2 million sat UTXO. And this one is still unconfirmed, okay? Um, and it says here that there's you know, 2 million sats waiting in the mempool. So there's kind of a couple of different indicators that there are some sats here which are unconfirmed and in the mempool still, okay? And if we look at the evil RBFers UTXOs, we see that they now have an 8 million sat UTXO, which is also in the mempool. All right, so now let's send Bob um, the payment of 500,000 sats. And in the same transaction, let's consolidate all of these UTXOs and, and send them back to Alice. So to do that, 
you click select all, send selected. Here we'll do a label or we'll pay to Bob. We'll put the label Bob and we'll do 500,000 sats. Now something interesting happens here. If you have a payment that can be spent from one of your UTXOs or more of your UTXOs that are already confirmed, Sparrow Wallet has a default behavior of taking out your unconfirmed transaction. Um, so it's kind of an interesting default behavior, but if we want to kind of subvert that and, and, and actually use that, um, that uh, unconfirmed UTXO, we can click this add button here. And now in this pay to, we'll do a, a consolidation back to ourselves. We'll click on max for this one. Okay, so to consolidate all of them back. And now you can see, now we have that unconfirmed UTXO included in this transaction. All right. Um, and we'll go back here to kind of make sure that Bob's getting paid 500,000 sats. So now we have this transaction. We'll do a fee rate of, let's just say, you know, I don't know, eight sats per V-byte. And that's going to give the um, child pays for parent a, a collective effective fee rate of six sats per V-byte. So that's going to, you know, bump it up a little bit in line, but not not too much, it won't get confirmed anytime soon. All right, so let's go ahead and create that transaction, finalize it for signing, sign it, and broadcast. All right, so let's take a look at that one in mempool.space. And now you can see this one's labeled with child's pay for, child pays for parent. It has the two 1 million sat UTXOs as well as the 2 million sat one that was you know, unconfirmed and, and, and paid from the evil RB effort. And we're paying Bob 500,000 sats. And then this is the consolidated um, change output that going, that's going back to Alice. All right. So if you go back to Sparrow and I'll go ahead and close these transactions. If we go to Bob's UTXOs, we now see Bob has a 500,000 sat UTXO, all right? If we go to Alice's UTXOs, Alice now has a, you know, about 3.5 million sat UTXO, so that's consolidated, all right? And if we go to the evil RBFer, they're still sitting with their 8 million sat UTXO. Okay, so now from the evil RBFer, let's go ahead and let's RBF this back to ourselves. So we click this hand with the plus symbol icon. That's to do an RBF on that transaction. We're going to max this out to get all of the sets back to um, the RBF, uh, the evil RBFer's account. Make sure that this one is going to the evil RBFer. Okay. And let's make this a nice juicy fee so that it gets included, you know, quickly in the next block. We'll create transaction, finalize for signing, sign it, and broadcast. Uh-oh. Okay, so let's let's show that log file to see what's going on here. Okay, so it's an insufficient fee and it's rejecting the replacement. Okay, so that's good to know. I'll close that. And let's try this one more time. So now let's do an even bigger fee. Okay, so let's do a nice big juicy fee. Create transaction, finalize for signing, and sign. Broadcast. Go here. There we go. So now the evil RBFer, they just got all their sats back, right? If we go to their UTXOs. We see that now they just have that you know one UTXO again, and it's about 10 million sats. Okay. Um, if we go to Bob, now Bob has no transactions. Okay, and no UTXOs, so um, their transaction got dropped from the mempool and is no longer visible. And if we go to Alice, now Alice has some interesting behavior, and I think this might be. Um, maybe a bug in Sparrow. Uh, so uh, 
you know, th this might be fixed in the future, but currently <laughs> um, it says that Alice has a negative 2000 sets in the mempool, right? And a zero balance. And if you go to her UTXOs, there's none here. So if this ever happens to you and you're like, what the hell's going on? Um, what you do is you just, you know, disconnect from the node and then reconnect, okay? And then it will reset it um, and, and, and basically figure out uh, the transactions that are currently in the mempool and everything that, that you know, is, it is currently on, on chain, okay? Um, so with that, what happens is it reverts back to the normal or back to the original state. So you have the two UTXOs that are 1 million sats and the 2 million Satoshi balance, okay? So the answer to the question um, that, I, that I put on Twitter is, it goes back to the original state, okay? Alice has 2 million sats in the 1 million sat chunks. Eve or RBF has their 10 million sat, and then Bob has nothing, Bob has zero. Um, if we look back here on mempool.space, this is the transaction from Alice to Bob. If we refresh this, this transaction will no longer be found in the mempool because it got dropped. It was invalidated when the evil RBF -er did the RBF back to themselves. Okay. And then now this is the transaction that um, got replaced with that RBF. So this one's still visible in the mempool because um, they keep you know track of all the RBFs. Uh, so basically, this is the original one, but then it shows you that it's been RBF'd, and then here's the new transaction, and we can click on that one to see the new transaction, right? So there it is. Yep, and it was just confirmed. So now everything's set in stone, and you know both Bob and Alice, you know, they, they never got paid anything, and the evil RBF -er got away with stealing those two million sets because you know, unfortunately, Alice, uh, I don't know paid them some cash for those sats and then and then left the coffee shop <laughs> before they confirmed. So the, the lesson here is always wait for the confirmations unless you know you can trust the person paying you. Um, but you know if, if 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 you don't have that trust then you definitely want to wait for those confirmations. Otherwise they could RBF that transaction and uh, make the make the sats go back to themselves. So there it is. Um, if we want to just quickly write the results here, just to give us some closure, we have these two UTXOs back to Alice and nothing for Bob. Thanks for watching.